Hello everybody, my name is Malastar and I'm the Guild Master of the Dragon Hearts Guild and welcome back to some World of Warcraft. Got another, hopefully, shorter video for you guys today. We're going to be running my all-time favorite dungeon in World of Warcraft. So we're here in Westfall at the Moonbrook Landing Point, which is right down here where you land. And so my favorite dungeon is the Dead Mines. And not just your regular dead mines you run from levels 1 to 60. I like heroic dead mines. So you could run it at level 85. It made things a bit harder, but it expanded on the whole dungeon. And it is still to this day, it's my favorite dungeon. I have very good memories of it. So if you didn't know where the entrance was, we're here in Westfall. We're in Moonbrook. Dead mines is in here. But to get to it, the first time when I was trying to run it myself, it was kind of hard to get to. I didn't know where I was going. You actually have to go in here into the hideout up the stairs and you go down to an underground tunnel because the dead mines if you didn't know it's it's in the mines you're gonna come in here and jump down and then we open up our map and so this is the dead mines but the entrance is all the way over here so once you get down here it's pretty easy you're gonna be looking at your map could have jumped down the hole, but I'm showing you guys the whole way there. And I will still check my map even coming down here. Because it is a lot of twists and turns. You know, we're going to stick to the right. A lot here you can maneuver around. Not even needing it open. So this other way, this way is the way out of the dungeon. Out of the area once you leave. So one of the ways out. Here we're going to take a little bit of a skip because there's a bridge that walks around, but you can also just jump straight off the bridge right here. Boom, there's the entrance. So let's make sure we are set to heroic so we get the full thing. And here we go. And you'll notice the heroic dungeons always have a skull in the portal. So our dead mines, we're in heroic mode. It's one of my favorites. And heroics you can only run once a day. So you'll see here my calendar, it'll reset. Should on there. You see it in the chat here that it'll reset in seven hours. So you come in here, you get two bosses, you go down, you get two bosses, you get the last one. So you look here in the adventure guide. So what you get here, you get Vanessa. Vanessa you don't get in normal. Captain Cookie, by far the best one in the dungeon, but Vanessa you get a whole lot more fun stuff here. So we're just going to run through this. A nice quick look. One of, one of my favorite memories from this dungeon, I was, we were running it uh, in a group finder, and the tank had left. So we sat around for a bit, and we were waiting for a tank, and there just wasn't one showing up. And I was like, like I can throw out my other pet, I'll throw out my tank pet, if you know the healer, you want to keep my pet alive and hope it pulls enough stuff. So, and that's what we did. We ran almost the whole thing. It was, no, it was normal. It wasn't heroic mode, though. We ran almost the, almost the whole thing with my pet tanking, which to me, it was very funny that we did it like that, that we ran it at such a, at the level you were meant to run this at with, with my pet tanking uh, for the whole thing. It was a lot of fun. That's one of my fondest memories of this dungeon. So it's, it's a clean run, and you get the way... You'll see. If we if I don't kill it too fast, you know, you'll see. It's fun coming in, and then you get these things. And all, the bosses, they kind of connect. And when you're getting the quest for it, sorry, you killed this one, you're going to go down and kill this one. You come in here, and you're trying so hard to avoid the bombs this guy's throwing. I just, you know, real quickly, one, two. You're going to pick up a lot of junk in here. But it was just a fun thing to run. You could decide if you were going to kill all the trash for all the XP or just kind of go through this as fast as you could. Like you could try and skip these, get to the door, quickly open the door. You could decide here, for here we do need to bring these guys down. can't jump to get him down quicker. Yeah, 
so when they get Achilles was mad you had to bring that one in you had to kill these guys generate power to wake them up I thought I had to bring them in and you had teleporter so you could jump back because originally the quest didn't update by itself you had to everyone take the teleporter back to the beginning turn in the quest get ready for it You get in here and you pull too much and you're trying to hold it all off. This was a fun. So to open this door, you can't just use the door. You have to use the cannon to open the door. Which would pull out the trap you've triggered. And then you get down here where you know you think, you know, you're in you you are inside, but this is the one time like you're inside where you can use a mount. And you didn't want to stay where the in these holes because you'd get hit with the cannon and you'd be launched into the water. Then you got to walk all the way around, and you're hidden in this pirate ship in this cave. And there's a door that would you would lead outside. But I think if you actually go into Westfall, you can't actually find that door. Yeah, but this is like the Goonies, right? The cave. One-eyed Willie's treasure. You know, you're in this big ship hidden in this big old cave you're going to escape but you don't escape on the ship here but you, you know you break down the doors you go out you can jump on these cannons and keep shooting it was always so much fun and you get up here and you're like oh the admiral me take him down And he would jump around and turn invisible and stuff. Ooh, double. And then you're here. And like, it's done. And then oh, a shadowy figure appears in the cabin. And you look. And there's this, there's this murloc. And you're like, hi. And you'd sit here. And you'd wait. And you'd wait. And nothing would be happening. And then you, you'd walk inside to check it out. And then Captain Cookie comes out. And he jumps into his pot. And then, you know, he starts throwing food at you and it's rotten food. And, you know, we're going to take him out real quick. And then normally right now you'd be done. Woo. And then you'd, you know, teleport out because everyone's done. But here, it's a note that falls, isn't it? From Vanessa. Congratulations, adventurer. Continue reading the note. Uh, this will alert Vanessa. So you, you knew you were starting. You've managed to walk right into my trap. And you hear a noise from above the camp. Boo. <gasps> She was there the whole time, and you don't know. I have that tabard. And then you're gearing up here. So my favorite part here was that this venom sends you back to the beginning. So now you're a nightmare. This is what made it heroic. And now you're back here. You got to do pretty much each boss. So you're stacking. You're like, you got to get out. You got to get out. So you got to quickly, quickly activate the steam before and every. And you remember everybody's hanging there. So everyone's trying to figure out what the other person's doing it. And then you're trying to walk around the fire, but you're slowed. And then, you know, you just, your only mission is to get back to the ship. So you're running through here and you're trying to get healed. How she got you from there to there so quickly. And then you gotta, oh, you gotta take down the boss again. But you aren't, this was all still a dream. Even though it stopped being all shifty, you're, you're actually here. You're not actually here, you're sorry. You're in a nightmare. I mean, yeah, there's spiders, but I killed it before any of it happened. And 
hear this, but I'll deal so much damage if you, when you're trying to run around it, me, you know, two times it, and just, and you, jumping wouldn't help, when you're trying to get around, and then boom. But the door is still locked, and the nightmare shifts again. You gotta save his wife. And you gotta save his son. And you gotta save his daughter. Oop, almost ran off there. And then, you know, you've actually been running through this the whole time. But you know... And no matter how fast you were, you couldn't save James himself. And you get back here and you gear up and you go for that final kill shot. And then, you know, all the dialogue at once, because that. And she pulls it here and you gotta run, but there's nowhere you can go. And what you would do normally, because I killed her too bad, there'd be a rope here that would spawn and you'd swing out. And it would blow up, and then you'd swing back in. Well, and then you'd swing back in, and that'd be that. That was an accident. Whoops. And then you swing back in, and it was always, always my favorite. Although since she died up there, I can't, I can't loot her, can I? Whoops. Anyways, that's it, and then, you know, to leave, you teleport out, or, you know, you go this way to the back exit. There's the map for you on there. You pop out the other entrance, and you come out here, which is up. You're still in Westfall, you're up at the top of the mountain. You come down here, and then you have this drop, so you couldn't go back in through the exit. Another one just to be sure you couldn't get back in. And then you pop back out here in the Dagger Hills right off the side. So the whole dungeon's all under there. And then, you know, theoretically, you'd be able to. I've never actually looked over here. You'd be able to see those big doors behind here that would lead out, but there's nothing there. And then when you get over here, you're in the Stragglethorn in the Val. an area here that you don't actually go to which it's very these very nice set of islands here nothing too bad on them right and you never you never come over here you got one thing but that's it the rest it's all it's all nice and easy guys turn to stone because it's a basilisk but these get this isn't Ship's not behind this. I don't think the ship's behind this one. I think this is something else. Could be though. I also could be, you know, very wrong, which in most cases I am. Uh, but yeah, that that's my favorite favorite dungeon. Favorite raid's gotta be Firelands or, or Ice Crown Citadel. Really do like both of them. They're a lot of fun to run very quickly. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed them. I pop back here, right back where we started. And, um, enjoy my nice spider. Uh, catch you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Remember, you can like, like our video. You can follow us. You can subscribe to us. Comments and links are all down below for different things. Comment if you enjoyed it. Give us a dislike if you didn't enjoy it. I, I try to base comments around likes and dislikes, but we don't get a whole lot of those. So I just, I make what I like. Excuse me. But, uh, thank you all for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.